Now, we are getting to the last episode of this tutorial. Um, let's start with property orientation. Uh, you want to make sure that the property you want to rent um, is south facing so that you can have sunshine, sunlight. I know it's not very common in Ireland, but um, a south facing property can really be hard to find. Sometimes there is you don't have a choice you just need to get a place and that that is all that matters west facing is another good alternative it will give your property afternoon sun which can be very warming and if the property doesn't have many windows then this may not actually matter to you then at the same time make sure you consider using google app um, if you want to get to the property or you want to determine the property's direction while you are still in your home country so if you want to determine the direction you can use google app you can use google earth you can use the ways app um, for your phone to determine the property's direction and can use that to get to the location as well if that ever becomes a challenge for you when you arrive in the country parking also in relation to that be aware that some properties won't come with parking i mentioned this especially in city areas off streets parking may be available in modern apartments um not all of them would include parking as part of your rent some might be underground parking depending on the amount of the house rent and some could be free as well um most times you might be charged an additional monthly fee just to secure a specific or designated cars or parking slots for your apartment and another thing is other properties may be in areas where you need to uh, purchase a local council parking permit or there could be general car park areas where you can secure your car until the morning and additionally consider waste removal um, is it included in the rent that is listed it does it say all bills included and you would have to do that I've, I've explained that in details and if you are living in a house it would be your responsibility to pay for your rubbish collection as it is a pay for service in ireland and make sure you ask the leasing agent either to view the viewing or online um, to check if that is included in your uh, 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 arrangement as you may also need to add that to your budget then in terms of energy as well, make sure that in Ireland, well, generally there are no electrical outlets in bathrooms. Sockets are not allowed in bathrooms in Ireland or even shower rooms unless they are fitted at least three meters from the bath or shower. It's for protection um, in terms of electrocution. And then um, in more modern properties, you may find a shaver supply unit installed. You may find that installed in some areas some properties have access to gas for electricity is typically the main source of energy electrical current would be at 220 volts wall outlets may actually take a three-pronged plug only used in ireland and in the uk some flats charge for utilities in a set monthly fee either added or included in the rent other flats may be set up so that the individual tenant is actually responsible for the utilities and the account is in the tenant's name and uh, generally in ireland if you want to reduce the overall cost of living which may really be expensive but if you are willing to put in the effort then uh, there are a few things you might need to consider like budget carefully and live within your means one of the best ways to reduce the cost of living in ireland would be to plan your budget um cut your coat according to your size um ask, assess your income expenses create a budget that works for you that works for your family and your lifestyle track your spending and look for ways to reduce additional costs uh, look for ways to save money. You can shop around, compare prices. Shopping around, comparing prices will help you to find the best deals on items you need. Even in local at local stores like shopping malls, supermarkets, you can look for red signs, red um, cardboard signs over the top of certain items that says 50% off, 20% off, or less prices, reduced prices, and stuff like that. You can look at look for that. Um, online retailers sometimes they have discount outlets to find the best prices so consider checking options or if you buy things at certain times or at certain celebration times of the year like during christmas times there might be uh, bonuses there might be um, reduced rates there might be discount rates 
and more like black sales and other things like that so you want to shop around that time if you are getting major equipment take public transport more it's a great way to save money um taking the bus is usually cheaper than driving taking the bus taking the train is cheaper than driving depending on where you are going it's also better for the environment but if you have a large family and you need to drive far where mobility where bus exists are not really accessible you might need to consider having your own car but generally if you want to save um you need the public transport because on the car you still have to pay car insurance you have to get your nct done and um lots more and the car tax as well so make sure you take advantage of special deals special discounts two for one offers bulk discounts in shopping malls uh it's a great way to save money on everyday items cut back on eating out you might want to consider cooking your own food yourself when you cook at home and take advantage of grocery store sales and discounts then you will discover that you've actually saved more and sometimes you might need to look out for second-hand items as opposed to buying things brand new like second-hand furniture if you look on facebook marketplace and uh, sometimes there might be people moving from the country going to another country and they want to sell out some things at affordable rates or they want to give out for free they want to give some stuff out for free and they're just looking for someone that will need to come and collect them or you can go and um, get a friend or get uh, a means of transportation to get you back so if you look at watch out for free stuff on facebook marketplace or secondhand items sometimes you might have saved a great way and use energy efficient appliances energy efficient appliances use less electricity if you use kettles more if you take tea more those might be costly and if you boil if you use the pots more on your um electric cookers and more that might be cost effective so you can look for energy star rated appliances when you are getting new items so that you can save money in the long run coupon codes are also a great great way to save money on groceries and other items look for coupons in newspapers and magazines online take advantage of free entertainment like if you want to go for sightseeing you might first consider free parks um free sightseeing centers like public zoo or national library or where you can go to uh botanical gardens and more that you can go to that you wouldn't have to pay or those ones that are affordable around you because before you can stabilize your finances take advantage of free concerts movies um events generally that entry is free so that um you can balance both and on tax rates you might need to look for tax benefits and rebates so if you watch my video on understanding tax tax rates in ireland then you can know more about tax and uh, the way it's calculated and what's left in your salary and how to claim back your rebates after a period because when you come into the country you might be charged at emergency task a tax which is usually higher and you need to get that back after at the end of the year so if you can understand that then you would have saved yourself a great deal as well then definitely um this is just a draft this is like a draft of if you go on if you go on www.daft.ie for example that i've mentioned previously or www.rent.ie and you can click on rent from the menu when you click on rent for them for the menu from the menu for example if you are going to for adaptation let's use beaumont as an example you're going for rcs i have to test in dublin that is dublin 9 select dublin 9 from one of your preferences and look for options around that area or you can select specifically beaumont b-e-a-u-m-o-n-t so if you select that specifically and then see the areas is there a share or you could go rent you could go share because that might be temporary so share might be your best option or if you go on airbnb which is short stay it could be one day stay or two night stay or, and you don't want to sell accommodation which might be expensive so if you go on that and search for that area then um there might be options to put in a message um your to drop your name your email your phone number and the message so this is just a short message like for you can use this on dafts.ie myhome.ie rent.ie and more like that good day 
So, so, so that means the name of the person in the advert. You have to put the name of the person in the advert and address it directly. I wish to bring to your notice that I'm interested in renting. If you are renting, if you are sharing, sharing this house, depending on what's on the advert, this flat, this apartment, I am a dash. That is your position with your current hospital. You name that and you mention the fact that you are married, that you and your spouse are non-smokers. You are not non-pet keepers. And you are quiet, you are respectful of other people's privacy and make sure that you include the fact that you enjoy socializing, but you still like your home to be a peaceful place and definitely put a legal statement that you understand that by entering into a, into a tenancy, you're going to be taking on legal responsibilities. And as, you, as the tenant, you are aware that you will need to pay the full rent on time and you're not going to reasonably disturb others and you go into care for the property and otherwise for um, comply with all residential ten tenancy act and the terms of the tenancy agreement so thanks in anticipation of your highly esteemed response you can even add uh, some lines in relation to the fact that you have references from your previous place where you stayed previously and do you have your contract and a letter from your employer to support that application so you can include that in the statement as well and see yeah so um let me see if i can switch my screen and so let me this is daft.ie so let's try daft.ie let's try daft.ie okay so i'm going to try and switch my screen yeah so that is my screen and let me see www.daft.ie so this is daft.ie for example so one second accept the privacy so when you do that you can see that is the home page I'm just using this as an example. You're not buying the house, definitely. Uh, maybe you want to share or do you want to rent, for example. Let's choose this rent option just to see. Now, it's going to give you additional options by counties. Are you going to County Dublin, County Cork, Galway, Belfast, Limerick, Waterford, and more? And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So let's choose Dublin. Let's choose Dublin, for example. So that is Dublin. It says 116 properties to rent in Dublin. Obviously, some of them would have been taken already. And then you still Dublin is a big place. You still want to narrow down your search. Can you see if you keep scrolling, you're going to see a range of prices. Um, you're going to see this says 2450 per month, and that is one bed, one bathroom apartment. You don't want anything like that because you are on a budget. This is 2,648 per month. That is one bed, one bath apartment. That is not what you want. This is two bed, two bathrooms at 3,000 euros. That is, that wouldn't be what you want. And this is 1,875, one bed, two beds, two baths, 2,250. Now, these are just examples. And to narrow down your search, you want to go to this the search bar at the top this search bar at the top that says dublin city so you can for example you, you are going to dublin 9 like i mentioned dublin 9 or so dublin 9 is coming up as just 29 houses so let's choose that and see and you want to select a range of price click on the price heading so if you click on the price uh, minimum maybe your budget is within let's say 700 euros monthly to max maybe to 1400 that's what you can afford monthly because even with this like i mentioned utilities might still need to be included and stuff like that if you're on a budget but this is your range so bedrooms um if you don't want if you don't want this number of beds to limit you can you can leave it as it is so that it can just use force use the price criteria to show you the search results so let's try that done and you have you have dublin nine that's done as well
So now you can see that it automatically came up on the screen as five properties to rent in Dublin 9. That is as a result of the criteria that you've used, 700 to 1,400 only. So this is coming up as 1,400 per month, one bed, one bathroom. This is coming up as 1,447 per month. That is two deals. Studio apartment means everything is inside and it's smaller than a normal size apartment. So that's an apartment is being stated. And this is 950 per month, one bed, one bath. So that is Whitehall, Dublin 9 Whitehall. And what you want to do next is, okay, for example, let's select this. Maybe you want to check if that agent is, the agent is actually true. Ray Cook Lettings here. You can copy that, paste. I think I've clicked on something. You can paste on another thing and then see if another uh, browser and see if they're actually real. Well, I'm familiar with Ray Cook, so that should be fine. And this is the area where the house is, as you can see, like, like this, say, this is the address. So if you want to see what this street actually looks like, you can copy that link and go and paste it on the Google Earth and on the Google Earth link and see the street view of that and everything. And um, you can view the street in, in 2D or in 3D. So if you click on that, Definitely, there are more pictures to this apartment that has been listed. You want to go on that and see as well. Let's look for, it says just one picture here. So definitely, I just don't want that. I want more pictures. So there are no more pictures on this. So definitely, it's not my option because I want to see, I want to see what's in the house. Well, they have a description anyway, but not many pictures. So description is saying one bed, one double bedroom. That means the bed can contain two people, one bathroom. It's available immediately. Is it furnished? Yes. Minimum lease. That is, you have to stay in the house for at least one year. If you don't stay, you might lose your deposit or more or any other thing that comes with, with, the, with the lease agreement. So it's saying, so they are giving this that this, the truly stunning mature development set in the heart of Drumcondra, which is okay. And it's only a short drive to the city center, M50 Road Networks. The location is ideal. It's close to every conceivable amenity, including schools, shops, bars, restaurants, parks, sports, and leisure and trans public transport. And one bedroom, main bathroom, spacious accommodation. It comprises entrance hall, kitchen. So you want viewing is highly recommended. That is because you can just, you, you might change your mind when you get to the apartment. But viewing is highly recommended. That will be decided anyway if they are short, shortlisted you and they're going to send you the details for viewing. But you first need to get past this stage. One bed studio apartment, that means small beans included. That is, um, they have beans in the house. I'm not sure if the cost is included. They might clarify that bean collection. And then walking distance to a host of shops, which is okay. Host of transport links at your doorstep. So if it says beans included, that means maybe collection waste disposal is already included and it could be centrally collected because it's an apartment anyway and available now. So inquiries, please, not by telephone, fill in your information. So if you want to now make an inquiry, it's here, email agent, click on this on the side. Okay. Email agent, this. So to email the agent, it's going to ask you to put down your names, enter your user. So if you don't have an account to that, that was what I was suggesting at the first instance, that you will need to create an account, which would make things easier for you. So you can use your, you can sign in with Google to continue, or you can create an account, and then it will give you that page that you can enter your, your full name, your phone number, your email address, and then a short message. So the message you have drafted previously, just copy and paste that and send it. So that would be all. And just send it. That would be all. Now, let me look at another one. Let me go back here to let's consider one that has multiple pictures because I couldn't see the other one doesn't really have pictures. Let's see if this one has pictures. Now, this has more pictures. Which watch road is 1,400. You can see that even though it's an apartment, it might look like something more convenient. That's the kitchen. And you can see it has, uh, 
you know, the plate, the hot plate, that means it's just electricity in the house. There's no gas. So that's why, that's why you can see just the hot plate. It has this, um, the system. Um, I don't know what that name is for drying your hot plates and it has the fridge integrated into the counter workspace. That's a small fridge. Obviously a small freezer would be in that there's mini storage in the kitchen. Um, you can see just a small table. If you want to eat, that's the bedroom, double bedroom. It means it can contain two people. It has a built-in wardrobe. It has radiator. If you want to turn on that, it depends on you anyway. If you want to save costs, you might need to leave it as it is. And just, I think this looks like a top floor thing. I mean, first floor. And that is how the surroundings look like. So that means even the surroundings, uh, possibly it's centrally cleaned or centrally taken care of. And maybe you wouldn't have to do anything like that. So if you want to consider, if you want to live in a place like this, consider all the requirements, consider the picture check, all the amenities in the house, no internet, nothing, uh, maybe bins not included. Now, let me see the description of this house. It says quiet surroundings, parking for bike. That means there's no parking for car. So there's just parking for bike and it says month deposits required. So that means, that means that you need deposit. You need a deposit. So if the house is 1,400, that means your first payment will be the rent plus deposit, which will be another 1,400. That's 2,800. If you want to share with someone, both of you can you compare your salaries and use that to rent the house. I mean, you can share the house, but both of you that will be sharing the house, you need to be included on the lease agreement and they need to be aware in relation to that. Otherwise, the lease might not permit sharing. So it might just be yourself. That is why they want to know that are you earning enough salary to actually cover the rent and the utility in the, in the house? So that might be um, something to consider as well. That might be something to consider. Now, I'm just going to switch back to the... I'm just going to switch back, yeah, to the tutorial. We're almost rounding up, and this is the last last part of it. Now, so daft.ie, www.daft.ie, you can try rent.ie, you can try gumtree.ie, airbnb.ie. I mentioned short rentals, long-term rentals, and I included a series of links previously. Um, then general tips too, if you want to increase your chances of getting shortlisted for viewing, for houses, make sure you set up email alert when you've created an account, go and get your name so that you can get your name in early as soon as the advert goes up. When you set up an email alert, when a letting agent posts the, email, the advert with the, that has the criteria you selected, it's going to pop up in your email. You go immediately. What you've copied, uh, you can just paste it. And then, but make sure you address the message to the person, to the name of the person in the advert or, and specify if it's the house or the apartment based on what's on the advert. Then write a bit about yourself so that all profession, so that say that you are a professional, you have references and you have your deposits ready to go. Um, sometimes you might need to go and meet the estate agent in person. I mean, go to their office. Like all of the ones who, who are advertising rentals in areas you want, you might look up their names. You might find their office near you and take the references to their office to go and see them face to face and explain to them. Um, introduce yourself and make sure that they know you as a person, not just by your random by a random email address. That might actually work out. Like for us, we had to email the letting agent directly to say, okay, this is what we have. We have um, this is our range that we are looking at. We submitted references, uh, proof of contract from employer. And before they even listed that house on Daft or on the website, they actually called us first if it's something that we are interested in. So that you, you can bypass many protocols if you actually go into their office face to face or email them directly and let them know who you are. Uh, when applying, make sure you send references included and mention that you don't smoke, you don't have any pets. And because a lot of places need work references and they also need landlord references to even shortlist you for viewing. Make sure that you raise the deposits if it's applicable to you. Um, sometimes it depends for sharing options. You may not necessarily need a deposit. 
And my advice generally would be that to be persistent, keep checking DAFs, keep checking rents. You can go, you can go on marketplace, Facebook. You can use the share on the menu instead of the rent so that you can force share within the first few months and then until you stabilize. And when your family, you think your family is coming, they'll be looking at rent options in an affordable area. So I really want to say thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for this series. Um, it's been it's been seven videos in total. It's been seven videos in total. And um, everyone has been watching, listening patiently. Thank you for taking the time out of your out of no time to do that. And uh, for people watching for the first time, that's the mentoring link. If you want to join mentoring for Ireland, for Malta, for New Zealand, that's the mentoring link. You could go on that. That's the official website. And this is the phone number for any contact. And the official handles, I can mention, it's it ends with Adib Sola Okole Consulting. At Adib Sola Okole Consulting. That's for Facebook, for Telegram, for Instagram. But for TikTok, it's just Adib Sola Okole Consult. Because the name was actually too long on TikTok. <laughs> So that is it. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. And if you have suggestions on any video that you want me to post next, you can put it in the comment section below and I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. And bye-bye.